have two friends. I wish you had any idea how hard it's been to get this video done. <laughs> I have been trying to figure out camera angles and such, and I'm going to do my best. So I want to show you a collection of cards from the Stamparia Winter Valley uh, ephemera pack. It's the chipboard ephemera. Um, I use different papers, so it's just the chipboard. And kind of what I, what I wanted to share with you is this is how I stretch, um, I stretch everything, is you don't necessarily have to use the same papers with the chipboard pieces. Clearly you can see there's a deer, there's a squirrel, there's an owl and a bird. Here's another bird. Um, you know, there's some ephemera pieces, a couple of chipboard uh, flowers, a leaf, and a berry, and a pine cone. But it goes beautifully with this paper. I just had some scraps left in my stash. And, oh, this is another chipboard piece. Happy Holidays. I usually don't say Happy Holidays. I say Merry Christmas, but that's what the sentiment said. So I used it because a lot of people don't mind it. Um, and then I made my little flower clusters. I had this beautiful chipboard piece in my stash that I layered everything on top of. And then I uh, did this beautiful, uh, what is this? Like a sheer, I don't know, like a sheer ribbon bow. And then you open it up. I have a little bit more of the paper on the inside. Somebody could write something here. And then their message to the recipient. So that is card number one. Card number two, this one, um, doesn't uh, clearly doesn't have as much red. I mean, look at the difference there. And um, in this one, I wanted to pull from the blue in the background and the snowy icicles and such, and I wanted to use whites. So I used the white flowers. I layered them on snowflakes. I added the green uh, with the berries and then some uh, plastic uh, cut parts from some different sprays. This is a die cut from, I don't know. Um, and then these die cuts here, these actually aren't die cuts. These are punches. I have a Christmas tree punch. And so I just punched the green and the white. And I wanted to tie in something that looked a little bit rustic. So I used this um, burlap trim. And then you open it up. And I wanted to put some rustic paper on the inside as well. So then we have this one, which, um, I mean, again, these are not the papers from the collection, just the chipboard and the ephemera packs from the collection. So this was from the collection, these chipboard pieces across the top, and then there's a chipboard piece down here. Then I have this real rustic looking uh, paper, love it, use that same burlap trim couple of flowers that I had in my stash from last year that I made and they look although they're white they still look kind of rustic to me and I added my sprays in I've got snowflakes peeking out and a bow and then some more of that rustic paper on the inside so let's go to this one this has got the same paper that I used on the first card um, another uh, chipboard frame that I pretty much covered up. Um, added some snowflakes peeking out. These are chipboards from the collection. Best wishes. Um, this down here. And of course the fox is all from the um, Stamparia Winter Valley collection. And then my little flower spray and a bow. And that one opens up real pretty on the inside again. Some kind of like something here and then the whole you know like whatever they want to say all right i'm going to skip over to this one this is actually from the collection as well and instead of going with the traditional red and greens i wanted to tie into this little piece right here that says let it snow that kind of looks like it's it's on a wood piece so I was like, okay, I want to tie in rustic. So I had a little scrap of this paper left here. 
I had this paper in the background. Um, I layered the burlap, burlap trim and used that paper to cover part of that trim. And it looks to me like he's out in the woods. Um, this chipboard piece, uh, the moon, is from the collection um, of the Stamparia Winter Valley chipboard pieces. And then I just popped out some snowflakes. And on this one, I just have one flower as a focal. Um, my little wintry twigs sticking out, some pine cones, and a bow. And then we've got the same paper that's on this whole background is that right there. All right, the last card with this um, is this one, Christmas Spirit. And this is from the paper collection. I cut it apart and used just this square. Um, then again, we have that rustic uh, paper in the background. These are some die cut trees that I had in my stash. I just layered those up. Put a bow at the bottom you know again love the snowflakes popping out real rustic with a little squirrel and then it opens up and I just had a little piece of this so I cut it apart and put it at the top and the bottom for the sentiment so there you go with the Stamparia Winter Valley chipboard collection. Um, I'm real happy with how these came out. I'm going to package these up and put them for sale in my storefront. Um, if anybody's ever interested in my cards, you can always message me. Um, I sell these for $15 a piece plus shipping. Um, I can write your message and send them directly to whoever you like, but that's up to you. All right. Thanks for watching. Happy scrappy day. I got another collection coming up. Bye.